you're saying, please disrupt me. I would really like you to F things up for us. You know, we have things on the neat little line, and even though we're watching that number go down, 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 we know where it's going. And if you come and mess with it, who's to say it's going to be better? Maybe you'll put the biggest hole in the ship and you'll sink us. But that's how things get changed. It's all a disruption. UK, anyone here previously of the UK? Possibly still? All right, I saw that. Um, UK is now ordering schools to start teaching entrepreneurship. Kind of weird, isn't it? Although I wish that was true, man. Gene Simmons from KISS? <laughs> when he was a kid, he was selling comic books at a premium to other kids in the neighborhood. I was a kid buying them. I was an idiot. Uh, so I wish I'd turn into that stuff. Executing. You know how many people in this audience have good ideas? All of you do. And how many people are executing them on, on them? Not all of you. Sorry. Really awesome ideas that you don't do anything with or don't even just give to somebody else are an absolute waste of your time and your money and your effort. And if they're keeping you warm at night, it's a temporary warmth. It really is. <coughs> try some stuff. Do some stuff. Do or do not, there is no try. Trademark and copyright Yoda. <laughs> Keep listening for the song lyric. It'll be there. Um, expanding a community. Uh, when we're doing this stuff, we need to build ecosystems. We need to make media. We need to all realize that every business is a media business now. This is a vastly different thing than how we used to do business. Blend tech fans in the room. This will give me something. Have you seen Will It Blend? Wow, that's terrifying. Um, OK. Um, Will It Blend is a blender company, a business to business business. They're selling the most sexy product in the world, of course, a blender. Who doesn't want one? Uh, and they were trying to sell it to places like Starbucks and say, you know, the blender you're using now, I know that's good. I know you think you've solved the blender problem. Uh, this is me paraphrasing Fight Club. Uh, I know you think you've solved the blender problem, but we've got a better blender. And they couldn't really get much uh, traction. So they started Will It Blend, and they started shooting videos of blending things like two by fours. Kind of cool. When they blended the iPhone, the week the iPhone first came out, you could hear all of San Francisco go, oh, as it blended. It was terrible. It was like that moment where Obi-Wan says, I felt a great disturbance in the force. There's a million voices screamed out at once. They shot videos of blending iPhones. Who cares? They got millions of views. Who cares? 500% sales increase. Oh, now I'm listening. And then two million bucks extra in revenue selling DVDs of blending things. <laughs> <laughs> and t-shirts. The DVD I kind of get. It's a novelty. You send it to your grandfather who's, you know, Alzheimer's in a nursing home. He thinks it's amazing. Uh, who's wearing a blender t-shirt? So content needs to be from everywhere. It's, it's got to be made, and we have to put it out there. The other thing I want to talk a little bit about with this whole thing is to understand building a home base. We're back in, I have a whole to-do list for you, by the way. Sorry, there's homework. I can't wait till you to go back and look at your website. And here's how I want you to do it. I want you to pull up whatever your website is, or you know your client's website, or whatever, and squint your eyes, and tell me what exactly I'm supposed to do on your site. If I can't find something with my eyes all squinted like that, if I can't go, oh, that's what I should do. This is the call to action. This is the real business thing. Then your website has failed a very basic, simple task. By the way, mine fails. Rogan.com does not pass my own task. Uh, but my clients' uh, sites all work really well. That's, that's one of the tasks. We have to build home bases. We have to build a site where people want to go. Everyone who's getting really excited about Twitter and Facebook, this is like bringing an oriental rug and an awesome lamp to your hotel. It's, you're just renting that space. You're just borrowing it. You can decorate it a little, uh, but it's not yours, and you have to leave someday. You also don't get much data from it. So Facebook is not the solution. Twitter is not the solution. LinkedIn is not the solution. Other sites that are not your site are not the solution. They're just an outpost where you're supposed to spend some of your time. The people I think doing this the smartest are the people who are using uh, those kinds of sites to draw attention to their home base in interesting ways. Zappos.com? Amazing what they do. They put a Facebook like button underneath every single product on this page, on the site. So I went looking for a bag the other day. I am a self-proclaimed bag whore. And um, because the seven I have aren't good enough, and, and look, there's one. Um, and I just bought one in the Oakley store because I'm that guy. And I was on that site looking for another bag, a Jack something, Jack Spade, I guess. And I'm pushing the like button just to kind of remind myself which ones I like. And essentially I'm going, 
4,514 people, Chris Brogan just looked at that on Zappos.com. 4,514 people, Chris Brogan looked at that on Zappos.com. I'm advertising for you. That is the real holy grail of the cool social media stuff you can do. When everybody kills their marketing department and the audience becomes the marketing department, then we're in what we call the sexy uh, because that's way more fun than some poor $50,000 a year marketing manager uh, who's just phoning it in because that's what they do to get the health care. Um, there's rabid, fat, you know, Pwah, I need to do this kind of people that love your products. Some love your products. Some of your products are stupid. Um, and it's true. I mean, come on. We don't all have amazing products. We just have some products that service things. Somebody was trying to say, you know, uh, so here's one. Somebody says to me, you know that thing in the shower that pushes the curtain way out so you don't get that psycho freaky feeling? <laughs> you know that thing, right? The metal thing, the, the rod. Sorry. It's a term that I don't use often. Uh, the shower curtain rod. They're like, how do I sell more of those? <laughs> I'm always up for a challenge. And they're like, you know, what's the Twitter business for that? And I said, there kind of isn't, but there's kind of is. It's that referral business. If someone really likes their shower curtain rod, then you want them to tell other people. The book to buy for this is John Jansis, The Referral Engine, by the way. The Referral Engine is a fine product. It's published by, I think, Wiley. Uh, so that's what I said. I said, it was all in referrals. You know, because how many times are you going to have to buy that shower curtain? Turns out maybe once per shower. 